Why is the NBA a point guards league? It's something that we've studied over the past three months, and you have to go back to the early 2000s in which point guards became more empowered by rule changes in the league. The league is now legislated to allow freedom of movement for little guys. The most significant of those rule changes came before the 2004-2005 season in which hand checking was completely abolished. Have you forgotten what hand checking is? Well, it was prevalent throughout basketball, specifically in the 1980s and 1990s, and we'll show you some examples now. Here you have the New York Knicks in the 1998 playoffs versus the Miami Heat. Eric Murdoch, and then you've got Charlie Ward trying to guard him. Charlie Ward, freeze it, right here, is in the typical position of hand checking. He's got his hand on the body of Eric Murdoch, and he can direct which way he can go, restrict the movement. You cannot do that in today's game. It allows basketball players such as a Russell Westbrook who penetrates to the basket often to be able to go downhill. He can't go downhill if you got somebody who's hand checking you and making you go side to side. Now physical play wasn't limited to just guys who had the ball. As you see Dan Marley here playing defense, you could hold, you could grab, you could do everything that you possibly could to keep a guy from catching the ball and when he caught him, you could abuse him. In today's game, there would have been four fouls called on Dan Marley on this play, but Allen Houston doesn't get a single whistle. So is this the best era of point guard play in NBA history? Well, time will tell, and those things are difficult to judge. But without question, this is the most empowered point guards have ever been. From the rule changes to the fact that there is no more of a stigma about scoring point guards, as Isaiah Thomas said, this is the best time there's ever been to be a small man in the NBA. I'm Jerry Brewer, sports columnist for the Washington Post.